Detach from the outcomes and opinions. A lot of times when I come online and I talk about detachment, a lot of people, for some weird reason, I could never understand it, they always try to... They try to translate it as though I am trying to teach people to live under a rock in isolation and to completely, you know, remove themselves from the face of the earth. That is not the case. I am teaching you emotional skills that is going to help you in the long run of your life to survive and live that abundant life that you so desire. So detach from outcomes and opinions. Detachment is required for a better life. You can't be happy without it. If your happiness is always dependent on what's going on around you, the outcomes of what's going on around you, and it's dependent on the people around you and what they do, you are in trouble. Life is highs, lows, ups, downs. Life is a roller coaster. So if you want to have a wonderful life, you're going to have to learn how to detach because you won't be able to be happy and have abundance if you don't know how to detach. People's opinions on you is obsolete. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's obsolete. If I lived my life constantly thinking about how people feel about me or people's opinions on me, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be happy. Why? Because people are always going to feel some type of way about you and you will always trigger people in some way. Sometimes you trigger people because of the car you drive. You trigger people because you went to school. You trigger people because you have a happy life. You trigger people because you got nice hair. Like people get triggered by the most ridiculous things that if you allow yourself to be a slave to how they feel about you, you'll never be happy. People's opinions on you should be completely obsolete. Okay? Okay? The only opinions that should matter to you are the opinions of people who are closest to you and dear to your heart. And of course, business-wise, you know, people you're doing business with, obviously, their opinion should matter as well. But people's opinions on you is completely obsolete. That is the mindset that you should be in. Like, I have women, and probably some men too, who absolutely hate me and they either hate me because of just the way that I am, the way that I talk, the way that I walk, my intelligence, what I I don't even know what it is because again, I don't allow my mind to go down a rabbit hole about the opinions of other people. I don't live my life arrested like that. So People could dislike you for any reason or no reason at all. Or they may dislike you because of what another person said. But either way, it shouldn't matter to you because you are living detached from outcomes and opinions so that you can always be happy. If you struggle with anxiety or depression, that's a really big one. If you struggle with anxiety or depression, you must detach. Because now it's your, it's your life we're talking about. Your health, it's, it's your life, your health, your well-being. I always tell people who, is, who have ever struggled with depression, anxiety, I always tell people like that to never concern yourself with outcomes or people's opinions because you don't want to trigger yourself to go back into a downward, spot, a downward spiral of anxiety and depression. Escaping anxiety and depression is not easy, okay? Okay, so you don't ever want to put yourself in a position where you can possibly get triggered to be anxious or go back into a whirlwind of depression, okay? Um, If you're detached from outcomes and people's opinions and how they feel about you, you're never going to feel sad or mad because you don't care. You don't care. So that'll definitely help you if you struggle with anxiety or depression. Next thing is some of the most attached people I know are millionaires. I had the luxury of working with millionaires in the past um, in the housing industry. And all of the top achievers were very, 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 very detached, okay? Like you could literally come in there and say, hey, this deal didn't work. They're like, okay, all right, well, let's move on. It's kind of like they never had a concern about negative things that were happening 
because they were too concerned about the positive things that need to happen. Okay. So very, 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 um, established people don't focus on the negative things or the shortcomings in life. They pay attention to the things in life that are extremely important. Okay. That is what they pay attention to. And I feel like that's where a lot of people fail is this constant need to pay attention to what's going on around you and what people are saying. Some of the most attached people I know are millionaires. They have learned the risk of being overly emotional. There is nobody who's successful in life who is overly emotional. They have arrested their emotions and they have realized that if I let my emotions drive me, it's going to drive me into a negative place. I'm not saying that these people don't feel. I'm not saying that they don't get sad or mad. Of course they do. But they have learned how to somewhat stay in a more balanced, monotone, detached way of being so that they can focus on their goals. Remember, they're millionaires. So if you focus on your emotions and you don't focus on your goals, you will not be able to make money in life or anything because your emotions are going to keep you arrested and laying on a couch crying instead of getting what you need to get done, done. Um, They have learned, um, you know, that people are fickle, okay? When you detach from outcomes and opinions, you understand that people are like waves. I tell people all the time, people are like the ocean, okay? They're in, they're out, they're up, they're down, they're for you, they're against you, they like you, they don't like you. It's a whirlwind when you're dealing with people because people are very fickle, you know? Someone can be like completely like they love you and one person tells them one negative lie about you and all of a sudden they're giving you the cold shoulder and you don't know why. You don't know why. But again, they allowed another person to get in their mind to change their perception of you. That's what I'm saying when I say that, you know, if you're detaching from outcomes and opinions, just like most millionaires in the world, they know people are fickle and they know people can't really be trusted. So again, it gives you a different reality in life when you understand human nature and you don't allow yourself to be negatively affected by it. Okay, they know people come and go. Okay, life is a train. People get on, people get off. Never attach yourself to people. That's like, honestly, one of the biggest, Um, honestly, one of the biggest inconveniences, uh, that I think a lot of people, one of the biggest disservices that people do to themselves is literally attaching themselves to people. You can, maybe you had your friends and you guys were best friends and you guys were best friends for, for that season though. You guys were best friends for that season. It doesn't mean that it has to be forever. You know, you guys were best friends for that season. So maybe the purpose that they had to play or the role that they had to play was for that season. But now that that season is over, you learn what you needed to learn and you move on. A lot of you guys have to understand that some people, they are lessons. They were just a lesson for you. So you go and you take the lesson from the person and you move on, ladies and gentlemen. Some people were just lessons right there are certain negative situations I've been in in my life in the past where you know I realized that okay like it didn't work out yes I was heartbroken yes I was sad yes this person really hurt me but I did learn something from this so sometimes sometimes it's about understanding that you just got a lesson you know like you know some people are not there to be in your life long term like they're not there it's not supposed to be a lifelong friendship it's not supposed to be a lifelong romantic thing some people are just there for a certain season and then after that season comes to an end you know whether it ends on a negative note or a positive note you learned what you learned and that's all that matters and I think that that is something that a lot of people struggle with is understanding that not everybody's in your life like for the long run and there's nothing wrong with that just enjoy them for that season even if it ends negatively you learn something from when it ends you learn something from it okay 
Um, when it comes to practicing detachment, you know, and detaching yourself from outcomes and opinions, you also understand that failure is a part of success. Okay, you cannot be successful without failing. You must be willing to fail to be successful. Okay, I have failed multiple times in life. But again, I don't really see it as a failure because I learned, you know, I'm able to come online and share knowledge with amazing people. Right? So is that really a failure? Not really. Because I gained knowledge from whatever that was. So if you guys just changed your perspectives on failure, and if you guys just changed your outlook on, you know, just the outcome of a situation, whether it's negative or positive, you will learn that I learned something from this. I learned something from that relationship that didn't end the way I wanted it to end. I still learned. The whole point is that you learn. And people who detach from outcomes and opinions take everything as a lesson. They don't take it as a failure. You have to change your perspective, ladies and gentlemen, about how you're seeing things. You have to preserve your energy by not having it scattered. Detached people understand the power of their emotions and they understand the power of their energy. When you don't understand the power of your energy, you let it leak, right? So I always talk to you guys about those people that do negative things to you to get some type of, uh, elicit a negative response out of you. Um, A lot of you guys fall a victim to that because you really let people... You really allow people to have a negative effect on you. And it's really not necessary to allow anyone to negatively affect you. But a lot of you guys allow it, you know. And it's it's unfortunate. But a lot of you guys do allow it. And when you're practicing detachment, you don't really like... I don't know. I don't even know. How would I explain this? It's kind of like... Again, you see everything as a learning experience. You don't really like, you don't really get those intense feelings of despair because you've already mentally trained yourself to not take anything personally, one. And to see everything as a learning experience, too. Some people don't. You know, when it comes to not caring and detaching from people's opinions about you and things, some people don't even don't like you and, and, and they don't even know you personally. You know, it's like they're jealous, they're envious, you know, they're weak minded, meaning somebody told them something about you that's not true. You know, they're a follower of the crowd. Maybe everybody at your job doesn't like you, so they don't like you either. Like it's it's a complete waste of time. Truly and honestly, it is a total waste of time to sit there and wander why somebody feels the way they feel it truly is it truly is and again it's not about being pompous or arrogant it's about understanding do you want to live a happy life or not if you want to live a happy life you can't really be too concerned about how somebody feels about you because you'll never know why they feel that way you may remind them of somebody that they're not fond of it literally can be anything But if you're detached, it doesn't matter because you don't care, right? So please, ladies and gentlemen, life life is a lot more peaceful when you just give God the opportunity to pull the strings. And, you know, God also doesn't have to deal with all the emotional tantrums, you know? God is trying to remove someone from your life that you're trying to hold on to. And you're throwing all these temper tantrums because the person's no longer around. And God's looking at you like girl or guy like this person's not even good for you please let me remove them right and you're battling it and there's nothing to battle there's literally nothing to battle and you're trying to battle what god is doing okay you are not a slave to other human beings i always tell you guys that you're not a slave to other people's emotions you're not a slave to any of that you are just learning in this lifetime that it's a complete waste of time 
to give people the opportunity to alter your life experience. You know, your life experience is up to you. Do whatever that you have to do to maintain the peace. To, to maintain the peace in your life, okay? And be happy. The most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of how crazy life gets, we must be happy. We must look at ourselves and ask ourselves if we are happy. And if we are not happy, ladies and gentlemen, we must do something to change that. If you are not happy with your life, you have to get out of your head. Get out of the opinions and motions of people and the energies you're picking up from them and ground yourself and find out what you need to do to be happy. People want you to want their validation. They do. They want you to want their validation. They want you to want their approval. And when you stop living your life in a way where you're giving them your attention, your approval, you will live much better. Okay? They want to take your power from you. And people know that they can take their power from you when they bother you. If you're unbothered, no one can take anything from you, okay? 